I was tidying out the other day and I found even more stuff. I'm delighted. Now, I haven't told Quinton about all of this. But, but what do you intend to do with it all? Well, I have this feeling that they might just sort of meet up and get back together again and start out on tour. Anyway, it's bound to be valuable now. Well, I don't know who'd want to... Uh, can I see it? Well, I'll show you later. Oh, no. Yeah, but it's a beautiful dress. I don't know why she left it behind, but she was always a sexy little bit of a tart, that one. I never really did like her. But he misses her dreadfully. I don't understand it. After all, I mean, I do everything for him. And now that he's back at home, of course, my life is absolutely fantastic. I am, but he gets very annoyed when I put on the records. Yeah, why so? Well, he keeps saying, Mother, that's in the past. And I keep saying, but... But you're famous, darling. And when I ring up for, you know, cinema tickets and things like this, I sort of give my name and I say, this is Mrs. Pauline Cook. My son Quinton was bunny. They don't understand. Well, it's a long time since he was famous. Oh, well, now, I don't know. It's all very well for you to say that, but I know the years go quickly. But it's sort of, what is it, five? Oh, well, it's more. It's, it's eight or nine, surely. Well, I suppose I mean, I so. I remember when... Well, we won't talk about Rupert. I'm not oh. going to talk about Rupert oh. now. You know they don't talk, the two boys. Yes, that's a pity. It is a great yes, pity. A but pity. Rupert just didn't understand. He didn't understand that, you know, having the odd little beer or something like that and smoking. Well, he always said that it was more than cigarettes, but I don't know. I, I didn't think Quinton was like that at all, in actual fact. I blame that one hair. I blame her. She was a bad influence. Now, she made money for them, but she was a bad influence. Is she still fat and... Well, I don't know. She, I haven't seen her since then, and she got quite thin. Oh, well. You know, I mean, all that gyrating yes, on stage yes, was yes. something else. It was very embarrassing, but of course the young people liked it. Mind you, I suppose... You know, at least it wasn't pole dancing. Because she could easily be doing that now, for all I know. If it was, Rupert would have to uh, come and... <laughs> oh, I'm sorry about Rupert and all the rest of it. And he's a sweet, sweet boy. And he's terribly, terribly kind to me and all the rest of it. And bishop, yes? Well, now, I don't think that we would sort of quite rise to that. He doesn't really want to be a bishop. He says the responsibility is far too much and with all the problems that have been around nowadays, we just sort of don't go there. But he has a very nice parish and two curates. Mm. Yes, I mean, and it's quite a rich, rich parish. Mm. Mind you, I have a funny feeling that Quinton, well, Bunny, donates money to the cause there anonymously, of course, because Rupert wouldn't accept any of that money. He'd say it was tainted. They don't talk, do they? No, but no, Quinton has such a sweet, kindly nature, and he's... Quinton, Quinton talk, it would change the subject. Let's well, all right, then. Let's talk about your son. Uh, well, my son is gone to Africa on a safari. Oh! Well... When Quinton was away, he oh, brought me home good. these. Yes, I mean, look, it's very sweet. He brought me home four because he said I always had visitors. Well, I and give that to the house room. I think it's awful. Tess, you always were a disagreeable little bitch, weren't you? Even as a oh. child in school, you were horrible. Yes. I don't know why I've stayed friends with you. You're just jealous. I'm not jealous at all. But when my son, Gerard, comes back, he'll show you his African spear. I don't think we shall go down that route. I don't think Rupert would approve of African spears. Well, it came from the Marai, Maasai Mara tribe. I haven't seen it, but I've seen the photographs. Oh, that's where... Well, of course, Yohan Hare used to say that she did a lot of her gyrations that were Maasai Mara, or whatever they call themselves. Frankly, I thought it was more masochistic something, or rather up and down, up and down, up and down, like a lunatic, and that hair of hers going everywhere. Will you ever forget it? Well, it was... Uh, I didn't like to say at the time. Well, it was a pop concert, I suppose. And they did get a platinum disc out of it. They did? Yes! And have you got it now? Oh, I have. I've put it away safely. Oh, I'd be afraid sure of burglars. Well, yes. You know, I mean, these sort of things are quite valuable nowadays. And even if it's just the platinum itself. Now, Bunny did explain that it isn't actually made of platinum. That they just sort of take oh, the old disc... the time! <laughs> have another biscuit. Uh, no, thank you. I'm not keen on them. Have you any chocolate ones? No. 
Oh, well. Ooh, Quinton can't take old. chocolate for his voice. Oh, you, you're not allowed to take chocolate when you're a singer, you see. I didn't know that. Oh, yes, it's very bad for your larynx. Oh, right. okay. mm. oh, yeah. And when will you see him? Well, he's only gone out for a little while now. He was sort of trying to do a deal of some sort. He's always doing deals with things. And um, there's an opening of some pub someplace, and he may sort of try to do that. But he says that it doesn't really work without hair. But... I mean, and the band disappearing like that didn't help because it was all a big scandal. But there you go. I mean, I mean, if it can happen to members of things like the Rolling Stones and things like this, I mean, I see no reason why they can't disband like everybody else. And after all the who... But well, he hasn't split up from here. Oh, well, they haven't been together for years. I'm very happy to say. Now, I don't oh, know I if didn't there's... Know that. Oh yes, oh yes, professionally and personally, oh, which was... And is he heartbroken? Well, he has been. He's sort of been in the door. In fact, I was very worried about him for quite a while. But, well, now that he's back under his mother's oh. wing, he's looking absolutely splendid again and healthy, the bloom, bloom of health. And, of course, well, well early to stay. bed, early to rise. He won't stay with you. Oh, I don't know. He seems to be very comfortable now, and I keep giving him little tidbits and things like that. You know, the way mothers fuss. You know, the way you do your self-tests when yes, yes, yes. Gerard's Gerard around. comes around. It's not Gerard, it's Gerard. I, Pauline, yeah. please. Yes, I know. That, that's why I called my sons Rupert and Quinton. It, they sort of, they're not really short. You can't sort of thing, you really can't sort of thing. You can't sort of call a fellow Rube. Can you? No, you can't. Mm. Well, well not a priest anyway. It wouldn't no, be nice. Priest, not, no, it wouldn't no. be nice. No, 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 no. So he, mm. he Rupert is uh, mm. going to visit or maybe not? Well, we'll see if the celebrations come off okay. So I've seen the welcome home party, but we really just oh, have to check. Where is that? Well, I've sort of said it, but... Um, but he wasn't really all that enthusiastic. He said he was feeling a little depressed at the moment about everything. But anyway, where are you going for your holidays this oh, year? I haven't decided yet. I have the brochures and I'm thinking of Portugal.